Well, hello there, friends. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and I want to welcome you to this broadcast video. You know, I, we were just at the White House, just in D.C., uh, just a few days ago, and it was an unusual sight. Uh, it was my first time, actually, walking near or around the White House, although I've been to the Capitol a number of times, and of course I've been to uh, the National Mall a number of times. But it was quite an eerie, unusual sight. Uh, and I want to share today just some things that we saw with our natural eyes, and of course, prophetically what the Lord has shown me about the White House. Amen. Now, I think it's interesting because when we were there, I mean, the whole White House was gated and boarded up. And there was a sign uh, in one of the areas that said that they are rebuilding certain premises for the inauguration day of January 20th. Uh, but, you know, it's very heavily guarded, very heavily armed, so I guess... Of course, the Democrats and these people believe in walls, uh, don't they? But not enough, because Harris Walls is out the dough. Amen. But uh, very unusual to, you know, of course, it's the most important uh, property probably on earth besides Jerusalem. Amen. Uh, but, you know, very unusual to see it so heavily guarded, to see it so heavily armed and to see so walled up and so it makes you think um you know what actually is going on you know they're calling it we're building something for inauguration day but what actually is going on you know it almost seems that people are afraid that people are hiding something and of course washington dc is all federal ground it's it's all very tip-top secret top-notch secret stuff secret 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 Secrecy everywhere. There's this federal stuff. You know, across the street, you got the Pentagon. You got the U.S. Treasury. You got, you know, all these powerful buildings uh, where things are operating and where policies are being made for America and really the world that will affect nations and generations to come. Your children and your children's children. And uh, when we were there, it was just very... Odd, you know, very suspicious, nefarious, insidious, and it's very questionable what's really going on behind the scenes. But you and I know we have prophetic eyes. God gives us eyes to see. And today I want to talk about uh, a vision of the White House that I had. In fact, in this video, I'm going to talk about a number of visions that I had, a number of things that I've seen. And this is one particular vision that I saw for many years, I would say a couple of years at least, but uh, you know how Jezebel has been thrown down from the house, you know, for especially during this last four years with the Biden-Harris regime, of course they stole the election and how you start a term or how you start something uh, will signify, determine how you continue something. So if you start off in sin and darkness, then it's going to continue in greater, darker, even more gross darkness and sin. You know, you have to have five lies to cover up one lie, 500 lies to cover up one lie. I feel the Holy Ghost, the fear of the Lord right now. But a uh, number of years ago, the Lord said there's witches in the White House and that the White House has become the witch's house. Now, we know that witches and warlocks come in many shapes, sizes, and forms. They can come as your friendly neighbor. They can even come as a conservative or, or as a pastor, as a man of God. Because the Bible says that the angel of light, is the enemy is masquerading as an angel of light. So these are the days where there's such trickery and such deception that our discernment must be high. And I pray today that the Spirit of God will anoint your eyes and your spirit man to be strengthened by God's Word so that you will be enlightened with discernment. Somebody say amen. I declare you will never be fooled or bewitched again in Jesus' name. If you receive that, say amen. But a number of years ago, the Lord spoke to me said, it's the witch's house. Witches are in the White House. 
But I saw a vision where Jezebel was thrown down and thrown out of the witch's house. Somebody say amen. And we see here 2 Kings chapter 9, 33 to 35. 2 Kings 9, 33 to 35. He said, throw her down. So they threw her down. And some of her blood splattered on the wall and on the horses. And they trampled on her. Then he went in, ate and drank, and he said, See now to this cursed woman and bury her, for she is a king's daughter. But when they went to bury her, they found no more of her than the skull and the feet of the palms of her hands. Now, you know, in traditional days or even in Bible days, how somebody dies is a sign and a symbol, okay? An example, Prophet Elijah ascended. He didn't necessarily die. He got taken up to heaven. That's a glorious death. It's one of glory where God wrapped his arms around the prophet and took him up in transcending glory. So how somebody dies is very important. It signifies of who they are in the spirit realm. And you see Jezebel was thrown down and she was trampled by horses. Think about that. However, because she was still a daughter of the king, I believe it was Phoenicia, because she was still a daughter of the king, they wanted to honor and give her a proper burial. But guess what? Bam. Only her skull and the feet and the palms of her hand remained. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Bam, bam, bam. So this is very interesting because this is the prophetic word of the Lord that was released previously. Where... The prophet Elijah prophesied, In the territory of Jezreel, the dog shall eat the flesh of Jezebel. And the corpse of Jezebel shall be as dung on the face of the field in the territory of Jezreel, so that no man can say, This is Jezebel. Isn't it interesting? Nobody will be able to recognize what's taking place. When God is in it, when God has his hands in something, you won't be able to recognize what he does to the camp of the enemy. Jezebel was unrecognizable, just like you see in the left of the Democratic Party. You can't even recognize what's going on with this 12-headed beast, this 12-headed dragon. You can't even recognize what's going on with this demonic Antichrist system spirit. It's constantly mutating, mutilating. It's constantly changing its form in a different form and fashion. You can't recognize, and that's why many people have left the Democratic Party. RFK Jr., Elon Musk, Tulsi Gabbard. You know, even I used to be a Democrat before I was born again. Amen. But you see, you could not recognize Jezebel after justice came. I want to declare right now, you will not be able to remember the old from this moment on. I speak into your spirit that the trauma, the drama of the last four years, 2020, COVID, the lockdowns, the shutdowns, the, the uh, stepping on, trampling on of the Constitution, the destruction of businesses, coming against the freedom of religion, you will no longer remember or recognize that era. It's done. It's gone. Washed away in the blood of Jesus. They could not recognize Jezebel. Amen. They threw her down. And guess what? Hear me. Who threw her down? It was her eunuchs. Come on, somebody. It was her own servants that were assigned to her. So I declare now that the enemy's camp is being shattered and scattered and is being hit with a spirit of confusion. Amen. Bam. They're turning against one another. They're all afraid of the Epstein Diddy list. They're all turning against one another. Amen. So they turned on her, and they threw Jezebel down. Somebody say justice. So the witches in the White House are being kicked out because President Trump is a modern-day Jehu. You see, it took a king to throw down this false prophetess. It took a king 
to get an apostolic kingly order, a higher realm, to take out that office, that false prophetic grace. Amen. So let the kings arise. Let the kings arise. Let the prophets arise. President Trump is a modern day Jehu. What did Jehu do? Jehu cleansed all of Israel. He reformed Israel, turned Israel back to God. Amen. I declare America's turning back to Jesus. And wh wherever you're watching from, just come in agreement. Because as God does it in America, he will do it in your country, your nation. Amen. So number one, I had a vision of Jezebel being thrown down. Number two, I, had, I saw a vision of the witches getting kicked out of the White House. Somebody say amen. The third vision I saw of the White House was that altars were being torn down. Now, you know, when God called Gideon, the first thing that Gideon had to do was to tear down his father's altar. Tear down his father's altar. Now, altars, of course, is a high place. It is a dedicated place where sacrifice, offerings, dedication, exchange, transaction of spiritual powers is given, made in covenant, in soul time. But I saw, number three, altars being torn down in the White House in Washington, D.C. You know, the White House and the monument, many of these buildings are actually Masonic. Even if you study, and I'm not going to go too deep into it today, because I'm not as studied, right? I'm not a conspiracy uh, guy. But these things are true. Even in the lines of measurements, formations, the longitude, latitudinal lines of most of Washington, D.C., or all of Washington, D.C., it is Masonic. And it is in alignment with demonic powers. Demonic powers. That's why in the Bible, you see God being so exact with measurements. 600 cubits, 700 cubits, 333 cubits. So exact because measurements equate power. Measurements equate power. But it's all altars being thrown down. Torn down. Now it's interesting because you know in D.C., in the East Coast, in many places in America, these old statues were torn down, vandalized, violated. But I saw these altars of these demonic Baal, Asherah, Malek forces. An example, Planned Parenthood being torn down. I feel the Holy Ghost. Number four, I saw, praise the Lord, in this vision of the White House. And even as I was there at the White House just a few days ago in Washington, D.C., before the U.S. election was finalized, praise God. Number four, the fourth thing that I saw was watching spirits, monitoring spirits. Now, have you ever been to China? I've been to China once. I lived in China for three months. But when you're at the airport or anywhere, everywhere you go, Big Brother is watching in China. And uh, I'm telling you, cameras galore. Tracking galore. Okay. But these are monitoring spirits. And in the White House, there's a watcher spirit. It, oh, well, of course. I mean, it, it's the Secret Service, federal government, the president, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. But there's, a, there's spiritual powers that are watching and monitoring for evil and for unjust deeds. But I also saw governmental angels above them. Governmental powers of the kingdom of God. Amen. I remember years ago I went to D.C. And I saw the angel of the U.S. Treasury Department. <laughs> I saw the angel of the treasury. And the Lord said he's releasing, opening up the treasures, the storehouses, the treasure codes of the kingdom and of the wealth of the wicked. So things are opening and things are closing. And I believe these demonic watching, monitoring spirits are being shut down. 
because there are higher powers, higher angelic beings in God's kingdom that Jehovah has set up. Amen. And then number five, the fifth thing that I saw, wow, was 24-7 prayer in the White House. In the White House. Now, the prophecy of Prophet Kim Clement, I never met the man of God, but I've had the honor of meeting his wife and his sister, and, or his wife and daughter, excuse me, and, and you know, being in relationship, fellowship with a number of his inner circle, Prophet Kim Clement. But Prophet Kim prophesied years ago that the president will start not as a praying man, but he will become a praying man. <clears throat> I saw prayer in the White House, oh, 24-7. Now, I want to give a shout-out and kudos to David's tent that's been on the front lines in D.C. I don't even know how they do it. It is supernatural favor. But David's tent, you know, Jason, I believe his name is Jason Hershey, who started this. It's been almost seven years, nonstop. 24-7, it's, it's probably one of the only 24-7 houses of prayer in America. But it's for the specific agenda of being in the land in D.C., the highest, most important ground on planet Earth outside of Israel. And lifting up prayers and intercession and worship unto the one true living God, Yeshua HaMashiach. Now, we were just at David's tent as well with Papa Gio, Georgie, and Banner for a one, one evening event. But David said have been doing an incredible job. But I saw prayer going up, incense going up. Come on, somebody. A beautiful fragrance, beautiful perfume of holiness, righteousness, where God was pleased with the worship, with the prayer, with the love, the honor to Jesus. Out of the White House, I prophesied. A new fragrance is coming out of the White House. A new anointing is coming out of the White House. A new perfume. Incense is coming out of the White House. Somebody say amen. So I, I literally saw the White House become an altar. <laughs> the White House is an altar, y'all. All of D.C. is an altar. But will it be a table to foreign false gods? Or will it be a table to the Lord God Most High? Somebody say amen. There will be continual prayer 24-7 in the White House. In the White House. The White House is God's house. And the White House is God's house of prayer. If you believe that, say amen. Now there's a few more things I want to say, but those are my five top visions that I saw of the White House. But uh, the swamp is going to get drained. Many people are going to get fired. Many evil underground networks are going to be exposed and they're shaking right now. I had a vision of paper files in the air. Like, you know, I'm sure you've seen the movies or the shows where, you know, the IRS or the feds are coming and people are in frantic shock, panic, because they're trying to clean up their Ponzi scheme. And now all the files are up in the air. They're trying to burn everything, blah, blah, blah. And they're trying to hurry up and run out. But I saw files in the air. Because they're trying to clean up their mess. But many, many to kill a parson. The writing is on the wall. Amen. Many will be fired and indicted. Many will be sent to prison. And there's a massive draining of the swamp. Somebody say amen. Friends, we need to pray from now to January 20th against any inside enemy terrorist attack. President Trump says it all the time, the enemy from within. These guys are not happy. And we've pretty much won with a landslide by the word of the Lord. And we are seeing the House and the Senate. We're seeing a landslide everywhere. Amen. But we need to pray. Because 
I do believe the enemy has something up his sleeve. The enemy, but God has a trump card up his sleeve. Somebody say amen. I see now the enemy has a joker card up his sleeve. <laughs> a J joker card. But God has a king and an ace. God is about to play the deck of cards. And God is about to play his hand right. Somebody say amen. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you for this word. Let the prophets prophesy and let the words that were spoken and released be true and come to pass. The witches are out of the White House. Prayer will be raised up 24-7 out of the White House with a new beautiful incense perfume of holiness, purity, glory, and righteousness unto God. God will be pleased with the sacraments of the White House. Jezebel is thrown down. Altars are being torn. And all the glory goes to God. Somebody say amen. Well, friends, if you believe and agree, say amen. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you share. And I want to thank you all in advance for watching this video and for following me as one of your favorite prophetic voices. Consider becoming a YouTube member, which is a form of being a financial partner with me in this ministry. And as you become a YouTube member, there will be a number of special benefits and perks that are given to you. I'm excited for all that God is doing and is about to do. Jesus is King, and President Trump is our president. God bless you.